Hi, uh, this is Simon, and uh, I'm going to talk about soloing on the mandolin and some of the chord patterns that are relate related to it. Um, so what is, what's happening? The, um, you hear a song on the radio, or someone plays a song, and you're trying to play that. Um, well, the problem is if, you, if the song is in D sharp or G sharp or something, it'll be difficult. So what you have to do is try and remember one chord, uh, one scale, I mean. So what we're going to do is the first scale is G. We'll start with that. And try to remember it as patterns. Don't remember it as numbers. Um, so it's like, it's like this. This is a G. And you go big step, big step, little step. And then on the third string, it's big step, big step, little step. That's another G here. So it's a G, G. Now, um, you play it with two... Um, you can play it like this. Or you can play it like this. You play it the second way is better because then you can keep this finger t as the root. That means that when you move it up somewhere, some to here for example, you can play that as the root and carry on with the same fingers as before. So if you learn the song with these fingers in G, then when you move it up to wherever you want to move it to be in, in the same key as the song, you've already learnt it. There's, there's no problem. Um, so uh, remember again that both strings is big step, big step, little step. Now, if you work, make, move from this G to the second and first strings, um, it'll be um, big step, little step, big step. And that's for both of them. So both strings are big, small, big, like that. And th that would be like that. Like that, with either string. Try and do it with both, both ways. Um, now, this, the most important part is this, is this square here. Um, that's a G here, this is a square, these... I like that. Then you can take this G here, watch. It's the same jump. Big step, big step, little step. And from here, big, big, little. So, and you keep doing, doing that. Um, here is another square. So what you're trying to do is to, when you'll be playing the song, you have this square uh, on on the key of the song, and then you're you're basically you get your finger there, and you, you you've already learnt the song with the, these fingers in, in G down here, so that you could play it just just the same. Um, next thing is the chords. Um, and now to do the chords, you have to remember the formation, how it's shaped. This chord is based on the G on the fourth string, and this is the shape. So that's a, a major, right? That's a, a, a a G major, right? But the way to do it is to remember that it's it's a it's a it's a major chord based on the fourth string. Here's another major chord based on the fourth string, and that's a C. But the way to remember it is that going from here the first up to the fourth is like that. It's that jump. That's that distance. And then going up to the fifth is that distance. Um, that way, wh wherever you are, you just move up. That's that same distance each time, and you'll find the right chords. Um, so the first uh, chord is that. The next chord, big jump, is a minor. The next big jump is another minor. Back to the C we had before, and the D. All right. Uh, so that the the C, the fourth and the fifth are majors. Um, after you've done the the fifth, uh, you can move to the E minor. The sixth minor. Now, re remember here that this is E minor because that's an E. And look at that shape here, the there, there, and there. If you take this shape now, the same shape, and bring it down to there, that is the same E minor. Because remember, you're going big step, big step, little step. That's an E minor because it's the same shape. Um, and in fact, you can bring it up here to the fourth, in the fourth direction, that I mean. Um, and you can see how they're related by the, the way it jumps. Like that. Um, and then you can um, go up to the, um, the G again. Okay, so those are the chords. Now what you do is you uh, listen to the song, 
you find out where the key of the um, the root is. Maybe the, maybe the roots are D, my, uh, D major, D sharp. Get it right. That's a D sharp. So then you play that. If I can play it with the camera attached, then like that. Um, and then you do the same thing. You uh, you know where the relationships are and um, the chords. And uh, so I hope oh, that's a lot of uh, information there. I hope that helps uh, work th some things out. Um, a couple of things. No, another thing is that maybe that's a G, that's a G there. Okay. Now look how that's a uh, that's the root. Look how the root goes to the fourth and then to the fifth. So it means that if you're ever playing that. That's how you play it. Or if you're down here with a D. You see that it's, it's that movement. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, have a good time with it. <laughs> All right, cheers.